Welcome to the Saturday afternoon edition of The Pour. Uh, it's a beautiful day in Edmonton, and uh, we've been running around all day. We've gotten a ton of stuff done, which is great, and it's time for a beer. Um, I've been sitting on this one because this is one of my summer favorite things. Uh, sitting on this beer for three weeks or so, just waiting for the right time. Uh, and I want a beer right now, and that makes it the right time. Today, uh, on the poor, the Collective Arts Gosa. Now, Collective Arts, uh, you might remember that name from um, Ransack the Universe, which was a beer that Luke had, I don't know, a few months ago now. Uh, Collective Arts is an Ontario brewery. Uh, this is part of the Collective Project, uh, something outside sort of the norm. Um, it's a 5% Gosa. Now, Gosas are a sour beer. Now, they are a specific type of sour. They are a wheat sour. Um, they're from Gosen, Goser, Gosel, Go, Go, Gos, uh, Germany. Uh, and so it is a wit beer base. Um, and they're also traditionally uh, coriandered and salted, um, salted outside of Germany. Uh, because their water has a fairly high salt content. So outside of Germany, they tend to be augmented with sea salts or some other salt to, to sort of bring up the, the sodium level. Um, they tend to be very lemony, very sour. They're a lactic sour, and it's lactic fermented. Uh, the lact lactobacillus is, is from, added to the fermentation um, post-boil, um, unlike things like Berliner Weisses that are soured in the kettle, um, or, or lactose soured, um, in the actual grain. Um, so let's not talk. Uh, it's time to drink some Gosa. Uh, Gosas are, um, one of a couple of fairly common sours you'll bump into. The others are Gooses. And the Goose is a Lambic sour. It's a blended sour from, um, Piotenland in, uh, Belgium, uh, south west of Brussels. Um, and it's one of the few places in the world where they're sort of technically allowed to call it kind of like Gosas are supposed to be from Germany and Lambics are Lambic and Gooses are from Lamb from the Lambic region. But anyway, um, sours are a thing. Try them if you have it. Um, oh yeah, that's definitely got that wheat head coming through. Straw gold, really light gold, um, really carbonated too, apparently. Quite effervescent. I'm going to let it, I'm going to pour about half and then I'm going to make sure I stir up. Oh, I can smell the souring on this right away. Um, we'll see what this brings us. So when I say straw gold, I mean straw gold, and I mean effervescent. It is bubbling up, and I yes, I know this is a strongbow glass. Whatever. Um, I just swirled it up, and it seems that it's still really clear. So they they probably pull some of that weed out and they filter it a bit. Um, I would prefer to see this style unfiltered personally. Um, it's got a little haze, but it's not. Um, yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Ah, uh, slancha. Let's try the... The nose is... It's got a little funk, and it's definitely got some tartness, some acid on the nose. Hints of lemon, a little bit of spice. The spice is really mild, though. The coriander's kind of hiding, I think, but let's give this a try. Ooh. Oh, wow. A uh, lot of salt. It's it's definitely got a, a heavy salt presence. The coriander is definitely much more there in the flavor than it is in the aroma. It's um I was half expecting kind of a sweet tart, and what I got was more of a sort of a savory tartness. Um it is a sour, no question. The salt may be a little heavy for some palates. Uh, but it is bright and it's crisp. Uh, 
powerfully effervescent. Like it's just rocketing up the glass. I can't keep it off. Can't keep the bubbles off. Um, really lovely. Um, I think some might find that salt a little overpowering. Uh, and, and I should be careful. It's not salty. Salty's the wrong word, uh, but it's got a lot of salt. I, I mean, it, there's no, there's no mistaking it. It's, it's salt. Um, so it's got that salted tart. The, the, the lemon and the citrus character is still there, but it is very much a wheat beer too. So it's got some of that wheat, um, that wit beer kind of flavor. Um, almost not clovey, but there's a spice to it um it's really it's quite nice if you don't like sweet beers and you find that you've tried sours and they're too sweet for your taste this is a really nice alternative because it is not sweet at all it is very very mild in terms of of the mouth it, it, the tartness even is is not over the top it is certainly sour but it's not as sour as a number of the sours i've had um certainly german sours or belgian sours uh, it's quite drinkable. Quite unique. Um, really, all in all, um, a great beer. Uh, as for my untapped rating, uh, as we do every time on the pour, uh, we give you an untapped rating. Um, I'm not going to type it in right now. I'll type it in after I finish the show or I finish uh, this session. But um, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give this a three, I'm going to give this a 3.5. I think it's super, super, super drinkable. I think it's completely um, enjoyable. I do think a few people will, will find it, the salt is a little over the top. Um, other ghosts that I've had, uh, the salt is there and it's a part of the profile, but it's not a big thing. I can taste it um, after in the finish, uh, be uh, past the drinking. It's there's salt in there, and I can taste it. And it's not that it's a bad salt, uh, but I think it could put off a lot of people um, as long as you're aware of it and you you go into this looking for something that's a little more earthy and a little more restrained in terms of sweetness and citrus. Um, I think you might find it quite enjoyable. If you are a wit beer folk, if you're somebody who's into wheat beers, um, absolutely give it a try. You'll find a whole lot of familiarity in the wheat, um, but then you get that extra souring and you get that extra little bit of that extra little bit of spin from the from the uh, the, the added salt. So. Uh, 3.5 for uh, the Collective Arts Gosa. Uh, it is out of production now, as I understand it. That's the can. These guys do some really cool stuff. And, and um, you know, we've had some fours or very close to fours and higher, I think, from these guys. I do have another Collective Arts in the fridge. I've got a Stranger Than Fiction uh, in the fridge for an upcoming show. Um, and I do look forward to drinking that one. Get a little more of that after I let that bottom swirl some more. It certainly, that, that got it a little more clouded up, but it's still pretty fine. Um, get a little more of the yeast out of that. No, it's, it's a three, five. I mean, I think it's a, and I think a three, five is a solid, it's a solid beer. Uh, they've got nothing to be ashamed of. This is a hell of a beer. Uh, Gosa from Collective Arts, three and a half. That is your afternoon sunshine. I'm going to go back outside. I'm going to take this out on the patio. Uh, that is what it is time for. Cheers. Thanks for watching The Pour. Have a great day.